Begin by double-clicking the setting and query icon on your desktop computer and tab down to Manager and enter the password. The default password is the number 8, 8 times. This will open the setting and query main menu. Click Set. And this will open the setting and query dialog. Look at the tabs at the top and go to Student Set. You'll notice that the box is divided into two halves. On the left side is your class set, and on the right side is the student set. If you click on a class, you will see the list of students with the IDs and the student names come up on the right side. Let's add a class by clicking Add Class and type in the name My New Class and OK. Now we're ready to add students. Make sure that your class is highlighted in blue and then click Add for a new student and type in the student ID. The student ID should correspond to the clicker ID that that student will be using in class. Then type in the student's name and then assign a group number. The group numbers are used for group activities or games. When you have completed the information, click Save. Repeat this process for all of the students in your class. You cannot duplicate the student ID number nor the student name. You can also list the student name as a first and last name. And when you have completed this, close down the setting and query program and exit. It is possible to present your quiz in class without taking this first step of adding a class and student names. You can choose the temporary class function when you begin your class, but please be aware that if you use the temporary class option, you will not be able to record the student name along with the ID, and this will severely limit your access to future reports of this class. Close the program, and we're all done.